Hello and welcome to another video by me, Tell Tacos. Today we are gonna making uh, a death screen GI, which is basically gonna show up when you die. And this is what this is gonna look like basically. It's gonna be have some more effects, but this is a GI itself. So if you look, I have a mainframe. And then I just have this middle here that I've set to 0.4 transparency. Um, and then I have this title right here. And I have a respawn uh, text. And I have the Tilian uh, web font. And as always, link to all of the scripts and everything is going to be inside of a model. Down in the description. If you want to have it, what I have right here. So yeah, let's just get started, I think. So the first thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna uh, insert a remote event into replicate storage and we're gonna name this respawn. Then we're gonna go into lightning right here. If I just remove this so you can see better. I'm gonna add a blur effect and I'm gonna call this death blur. I'm also gonna create a color correction and name this death cc which cc stands for color correction i'm just gonna set all of these to zero and just uh, take away all of the effects right now but have them enabled okay so yeah then we just want to insert a script right here a local script name it fight and uh, begin coding so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get the replicated storage Game get service, replicate storage. We're also gonna get the tween service. Then we're gonna get the lightning. And then we're gonna get the player service or players. Then we can take right here, let's uh, make a variable for this event. So let's call this re respawn event. And that's gonna be equal to replicate storage dot respawn. Let's get the player, players the local player, and the character. So the character is basically a player dot character, but if this returns nil, if it doesn't find a character, if it doesn't find a character, we're gonna do player dot character added wait, and then local humanoid is equal to character wait for child uh, humanoid. We're just gonna get the blur from the lightning, so lightning dot death blur, and we're gonna get CC as well, color correction. Death CC. So now for me, I'm just gonna reference all the different frames I have. So I have basically have a mainframe. I just like to have mainframes, uh, so you can you know like make them invisible or anything. I have a middle frame, which is main dot middle frame. I also have a respawn time. This takes a little right here, and that is going to be main dot respawn time. And the last, I also have a title, which is the uh, you died text. That is inside middle frame dot title. So let's do humanoid dot died. This is basically going to activate when the player died. We're gonna do middle frame. Uh, first, we're gonna do like this first. We're gonna do for i is equal to one, comma players dot respawn time. Do so. What this is gonna do is it's basically gonna go. It's gonna go from from one in a loop, and it's gonna repeat this loop 
as many times as we have the respawn time set to. So if we have the respawn time of 5, it's gonna repeat this loop. Actually, it's gonna repeat this for loop 4 times, I think. So in each of these times, we're gonna set the text of the respawn time to be equal to respawning in and then a space dot dot for combining a uh, string player dot respawn time minus i dot dot space seconds and this is basically how much time is left until it respawns and then pass the wait one so now what this is gonna do basically is if we already see the dry it's gonna count down from five oh sorry did i type player right there players so what this is gonna do is basically gonna when i die right here it's gonna count down like that and why I just buy this because I have set it to 5 in my thing here. You should probably just set it right here before this loop to just like that. Now, let's. Uh, we're not down here, here yet, but we're gonna make a server script. And we're gonna name this respawn as well. And it's pretty simple, we're gonna get the replicated storage. Replicated storage. Replicated storage, and we're also gonna get the players. So let's get the respawn event. So we actually want to disable the character autoload, which is, this is basically what makes the character respawn. But we're going to do this manually because we want to, uh, want to be able to do it. So when the, all of the th things are done, then we want to, it to respawn. But when it, uh, the player's added, we basically want to uh, load its character. So load character. And then when this uh, event is fired, on server event, we just want to load a character as, as well. Just like that. And now we're done with the. Uh, server script so let's go back to the local script and the things we're gonna do now is we are basically gonna just make it look very nice and also make it appear and disappear so what i'm gonna do i want my middle frame between size and position so i want this to come out from the middle and extend to both sides uh, seamlessly at the same time. So how I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna make a UDM, UDM2 dot new, and I'm just gonna copy um, the size of this right now. Just remove this. So that's the size we want, and the position is gonna be. The same as now. So we're just gonna copy that. Just like that. The next thing we wanna do is we want to go into tween service and create a tween for the middle frame as well. But this time we're just uh, we want to tween the transparency. So we're gonna make a tween info.new. You need this for it to work, but you don't need to fill in all of these parameters, which you can do if you want. But I'm just going to type 1, because that's how long I want the tween to be. Then I'm going to make a table, and then say back 
back round transparency is equal to one transparency is equal to one and then we're gonna play it or actually sorry point four or zero I have it point four because I want this kind of transparency uh, if you want to have a frame that has like tweens, you're gonna set this to zero most of the time. Gonna make a new tween, and this is gonna be for the title. And this time we wanna change the text transparency to be equal to one. Oh, zero, sorry. And we're gonna do the same thing for the respawn time. The other text table we have. We also want to create the same thing for the blur we have. So we can just copy this, like, like that, copy anything. Go to blur, and then instead of uh, text transfer, we're gonna do size. Because size is the property right here in the blur. And we're gonna do the same thing for the CC. But this time, instead of size, it's going to be color and we're going to set this to color 3 dot from RGB and I'm going to choose maybe this color right here and I also want the saturate uh, just make a comma right here and then type in saturation and I'm going to set it to minus 1 because I don't want any other colors than the tint color I have oh sorry tint color as well Yeah, just like that. So now we have to do all of these, but opposites after right here. So after this one, we want to set the middle frame to be zero size. We don't want it to have any size. And if we size this down, it's basically gonna go into size like this. Uh, sorry, go into size like this. So to fix that, we have to change the position to half of what the size is going to be. Or half of the original size is. So we're losing uh, one here, so we're going to set the position to 0.5. We're going to set the background transparency to 1. Text is 1, the other one to 1, the size. Oh, sorry. Right here, we're gonna set the size to twenty. I want, I want it to be twenty. Here, I'm gonna do zero, and here I'm gonna do two fifty-five, two fifty-five, two fifty-five, and saturation should be zero. And then do task I'll wait zero point five. We're gonna wait zero point five seconds, and then we're gonna spawn in the character. So. Fire server. So <clears throat> let's fix all of these. So we can't see them right now. So let's uh, actually, actually, instead of changing manually, we're gonna type this in the script right here. So respawn time dot text transparency. It's gonna be one. Title dot text transparency. It's gonna be one. Middle frame dot background transparency is gonna be one uh middle frame dot size so we're gonna be the same as we had before <coughs> or the same as the same as when it's not showing and the position is gonna be the same as it's not showing as well just like that so <clears throat> I'm also gonna set yeah no that's fine. So let's try it out. Of course you can change the transparency uh, before the game as well. So we spawned in right here. If we reset our character, you can see that it has this kind of tool cool tween. And uh, when you respawn, it goes away. 
And if you want to change the uh, the respawn time, you do it here inside of players as well. So you can change this to like 10 or whatever. Yeah. Um, thank you so much for watching. And I really appreciate everyone watching my videos and everyone who subscribed. But uh, if you want to subscribe, it's very appreciated. But you don't have to. And also, leave a life. Uh, leave a <laughs> leave a life. Leave a like if you like the video, and leave a comment on what I should do next. And thank you very much. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.